finally awake. Jeez, you sleep like a boar. <sighs> but you're awake, so I suppose that'll do. Come on, get up. Well, today, you're going to learn how to hunt. I can't hunt for you forever. I still need to support myself, so get that lazy bum out of bed. Good. Now follow me. Now, lay down here. Now, take this club. I don't know if it'll have the same effect you do. I mean, look at me, I'm ripped. But for you, you're not as ripped. I'm sure that'll happen eventually, though. You know, living out here with me. Supposing you still want to, of course, but we'll have this conversation later. Now, look at that animal. Do you see them? The hint of innocence in their eyes. Yes, they are unaware of what's happening. Completely unaware of our presence. In fact, they're deaf. <laughs> Figured this would be a good prey for you to hunt for your first. Now, Take that club in your hands. Sneak up on them like this. And smash in their head. There you go. You learn quite fast, don't you? Ah, uh, yes. There is a lot of blood. But that's normal. Here, I'll help you lift your catch to the waterfall. Now, right over here. Take this. Yes, it's a knife. You're gonna skin it. No, you're gonna skin the leather. Now help me. See? It's not very hard, now is it? Skin it like this. Like you're peeling. A potato. Yes. Why are we doing this? So we can make you proper clothing. That stuff isn't insulating enough, and this may help. Maybe it'll become a shirt. Maybe it'll be a pair of pants. Whichever is colder. Now, we'll set that aside. Let's cut up your prey. Like this. Take the knife. Jab it in. And carve like this. You see? Make sure to go around the bones. Very good. Now, let's set up a fire. Well, <laughs> even orcs need to eat. And you, especially. I mean, how long has it been, really? <laughs> now, let's get cooking. Hmm. Do I have a... Do I have any friends? No. <laughs> no one really wants to be my friend. They say I'm not brutish enough. I'm not violent enough. I say they can go and be violent all they want. Doesn't change how I am. I... I have a few goals in life, yes. One being, I, uh, I want to own a library. Is that dumb? I just want to help people read. I want to read. Sadly, I haven't quite gotten that skill down. I want to read more, but I haven't quite mastered human language. I've gotten pretty close, though, I think. But I think I'm trying to learn what's it called English. And I've almost got that 100% down. And there's Spanish, which I'm going to be honest, I haven't even tried yet. I think there's a few others, but I don't know what they're called. English is what I'm working on right now. Hence why I can talk to you. And the others can't. Besides, you know, our chief. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you that I was next in line? Crazy, right? Someone so different as me, 
but to be chief of one of the most violent tribes in the area. Oh, it's no wonder it's no wonder he took it from me. Not that I'm complaining, I don't really want to rule anyone. I'm happy doing my own thing. Hmm. Huh? These bones are on my neck. I... I don't know if I should tell you about that. I... It's personal. Uh, you're really pushing, aren't you? Fine. But be aware, this story is... bloody. When I was a tiny little orc, no bigger than your kneecap, I was very hard-headed and rushed into danger without thinking. My elder brother constantly had to step in the way. Well, one time I thought I could take on a elder beast. Don't know why. <laughs> Full-grown orcs are slaughtered every year from that thing. But, me being a child, I thought, Ooh, I'll take it on. I'm totally strong enough to do it. I, uh, was not. My brother, he branded his axe and got in front. But, while well, he did cleave that thing's eye out, it, uh, cut him in half. His organs everywhere, his guts spilled. I ran to him, I called his name, but he was gone by the time he hit the floor. In my rage, such inner rage, I chopped that thing up, every bit. That's why I was offered up the position, and they groomed me for the occasion, but... It's just not something I'm interested in. Because of that action, I... I learned that I can't let my emotions get the best of me. And, as a reminder, I wear my brother's ribs around my check and my neck. <laughs> it's a reminder. I'm sure you have reminders of foolish things you've done as well. This is mine. Sorry, I really brought down the mood. <laughs> Food's ready to eat now. It's actually been ready for a few minutes. Oh. You know, if he were an orc, you'd be great in the tribe. Too bad you're a human, huh? <laughs> hmm? Oh. Uh. I suppose. Look. I get what you're trying to say, and I appreciate it, but it was my fault. <laughs> Full heartedly, I admit that, and I've come to terms with that. I'm not traumatized from it, but I need to learn from my mistakes. It doesn't mean I don't feel, it just means I don't... I don't let my rage control my actions. I don't let my arrogance fuel it, either. I go in with a... well, a logical head. My head will be on my shoulders and not on the ground, so it's helped quite a bit. Ah, have you finished your meat already? I suppose then it's time for us to finally work the leather. Here, help me dry it out. Yeah, just hang it up here. Alright. Tomorrow I'll teach you how to, well, sew. I'm not great at it, but I can show you a few pointers. Get it? <laughs> oh. oh, my tribe be worried I'm not there. No, it's normal for me to be gone for weeks at a time, so for me it's whatever. For them it's whatever, and even if I didn't come back, I don't think they would care. Shh, quiet. Oh, okay, 
they're gone. That, my friend, was a Goliath. Well, <laughs> think of an orchiarchy like this. You have the Goliaths on the very top of the food chain. Then, below that, you have the Wendigos. Very, very strong creatures. Then, below that, you have orcs. Then it's goblins. Then, no, 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 humans don't come next. Then, below that, you have the rats. Then you have humans. Why are rats come above? I mean, rats are as big as puppies around here. Actually, for you, it would be a dog. Our version of a puppy is much different than your version of a puppy. Well, you know, we, we have our um, hellhounds and... Well, you know, they, they are average around here. They spew fire and bite a lot. But, you know, they, they're really cute. I mean, come on. They're so adorable, especially when they're puppies. <laughs> uh, we should really be heading to bed, though. So, come on. Get in bed. Good. I'll, uh, see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs>